www.bansupermart.com Can you briefly explain the investment strategy of the Parvas Equity Brazil Fund? In particular, how much attention is paid to the benchmark with regards to sector or individual stock weightings? Okay, the, the Parvas Equity Brazil Fund, it's a long only equity fund uh, where we try to select the best investment case uh, uh, within the Brazilian investment universe. We consider Brazilian investment universe as uh, the companies uh, which have uh, at least half of their revenues coming uh, from uh, the Brazilian market. Uh, this, this strategy is a bottom-up focus strategy, so we focus on fundamental research to select the best investment case. Uh, and how we do that, we have a team based in Sao Paulo uh, that do uh, research of Brazilian company and we believe that proximity uh, uh, to the Brazilian companies is a key uh, factor to achieve uh, alpha and to do a good quality research uh, into that investment universe. Uh, related to the benchmark, we do an active benchmark strategy. So, what we try to, uh, to do is to reflect our convictions being overrate and underrate against uh, the benchmark of the fund, which is the MSI Brazil 1040, uh, which we have selected because we, we think that this benchmark reflects very well uh, the behavior of the Brazilian investment universe. So, it's an active benchmark uh, with fundamental research where we focus on try to select companies with an appealing growth story, but also considering uh, the valuation of this company, which uh, must be attractive. The financial sector is the fund's largest sector allocation at 31% of the portfolio, according to the fund's 31st January fact sheet. What are the reasons for this large weight? Uh, we are currently overrating in the financial, especially in the Brazilian banks. Uh, why? Because uh, we think they capture uh, the story of consumption growth in Brazil as they finance uh, the consumption uh, and the credit growth will so be uh, part of uh, and very linked to consumption story in Brazil which is uh, has to do with the growing middle class of the country. So we are very confident uh, that uh, the story of uh, credit growth will remain for the mid-long term in Brazil. Uh, we also think that banks uh, have uh, in Brazil an attractive valuation uh, because uh, they, uh, they generate a, a very good free cash flow uh, and very good return on act compared to the, uh, to the prices that the, the, com the stocks are priced uh, in, in the current market. So these are the main reasons uh, for being invested in the financial and it really financial as uh, the Brazilian banks, which is our main uh, bet uh, in the financial sector. Compared with the index, the fund is underweight the utility sector. What are the reasons for this allocation? Utility sector is a defensive sector uh, and as it was a very difficult year uh, in 2011, uh, many investors try to look for defensive strategy and utility is a natural consequence of that. So when you look for the valuation of utility companies, because there was a, a, a huge flow to these kind of uh, companies, the valuation is a little bit stressed uh, and uh, we think they are expensive. But uh, not only we think that they are expensive, but we think that, that the prospect for growth uh, in the utility sector is not uh, very attractive. There are better investment opportunities in Brazil. And also the news flows for the short term uh, for the sector is not positive or there's no uh, positive trigger that could uh, motivate, uh, at least in our view, an upward trend in the utility sector. And that's why we are in the rate. Within the consumer space, the fund seems to favour the consumer staple sector rather than the consumer discretionary. What are your views with regards to the consumer sectors in general and what are the reasons for the preference for the staples? Uh, in general, our strategy for more than uh, one year now has been uh, overrate uh, in domestic related sectors against uh, commodities. Why? Because we think that uh, uh, the mask related sector uh, provides a much clearer earning visibility uh, for the mid long term uh, and uh, less risk when compared to commodity which is linked to global growth and a lot of unsolved problems. Uh, and we think this uh, strategy 
consumer companies, uh, of course, uh, they play an important role. But we have been very selective within the consumer universe because many of the companies are very well priced for the growth prospects. Uh, and, and it's not a preference for consumer staples against consumer discretion, or it's more or less a consequence of our stock picking uh, within the consumer universe that provide the sector uh, profile allocation uh, in the fund. Is there an investment idea the fund is positive on right now? Yeah, we're very positive for telecommunications, especially the mobile companies uh, in Brazil because uh, we see good prospects for growing data services uh, in mobile and communication. So uh, we, we, we are very positive on that. We are also very positive for home builders. Uh, most of their uh, home builders, they will have a very good cash flow uh, during 2012, which is a consequence for the investment that they did three to four years ago and the cash flow generation will start coming uh, this year. Uh, at least we believe on that. Uh, so we are very positive for home builders. We think that the companies will provide a good returns uh, uh, for 2011. Uh, these are uh, the two main bets. The third uh, is the financial sector where we see good prospects uh, too. Uh, and these are the, two, the three main sectors where we are overweight in Brazil and where we think are the best investment uh, case and the best uh, source of uh, alpha.